try and become at least slightly above average at something. And once you do that, now, you, now you've got a group of people who you will have to talk to and interact with because usually uh, improvement does not happen in a vacuum. And, and part of being interesting is, is talking to people, swapping stories and experiences. And then once you do that, go do it in something else completely different, like completely different field. And now you've got two different paradigms to see the world through that you can use to relate to other things and communicate in other ways. And that, that really helps you talk to a lot of different people about a lot of different things. You know, I made my, my life in, in boxing, but I've got this degree in physics and I spent a lot of time at the chessboard. In fact, one of the books right here, The Amateur's Mind, you know, I read through that along with the lessons I get from my coach and that, that, that helps me. Well, one, it just makes me enjoy life, right? So that's part of being interesting is, you know, I have a zest for life. And that zest for life should naturally lead you into multiple domains because there's no way you can be interested in life or you're just doing the same boring stuff over and over again.